what is crack a back in fifth grade welcome 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 to day number four of our intro into essays unit today we are looking at what a conclusion is you might notice but wait a minute mr dude you didn't erase your intro well funny thing about conclusions but we'll get into that funny thing when after i'm done explaining what a conclusion is so we all know the famous thing that you see at the end of fairy tales and storybooks it says the end well, we're fifth graders and we don't like to end our writing with the end, so we write what are called conclusions. A conclusion finishes off your paper. It sort of wraps it up, it restates what you talked about, and it's a good sort of cherry on top for your essay. Now, the reason I left this up here is because the way I teach conclusions is I teach them because I teach them in a way that sort of mimics what your intro did, and that is explain what your topic is. But we have to go and change a few things, because our conclusion cannot be word for word what our intro was, meaning you can't just copy your intro and then put it again down at the bottom of your essay and call that your conclusion. No, nah, not quite. But we can do something pretty close to it to make your lives a little easier. So, first of all, a conclusion goes at the end of your essay. So we need to change I will be because that means you will in the future, but you've already done this. This is your conclusion. You've already written your pretend essay. So instead of I will be, we're gonna X that out, we will, let's say something, and this, we need to say something along the lines of in this essay, not I will be, but I have. I have, I'm gonna write that over here too. Let me make sure it gets on the camera. I have. So in this essay, I have, oh, but wait a minute, I have explaining slash informing you. No, 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 we wanna use the past tense, right? Because we've already done this. I have explained to you the endangerment of the great white shark. Now, did you notice? I'm not using the exact same words as I was using in my intro. I'm looking at it as if it had already happened. I'm using the past tense, and again, we're doing that because your conclusion does happen at the end. Your reader is reading your conclusion as if it's the last thing they are reading before the essay ends. So you use past tense. Now, I'm not gonna go and rewrite every little thing, but again, I'm gonna stand here so you're not distracted. In this essay, I have talked to you, or the reader, about the endangerment of great white sharks. And also a cool thing that I like to do in essays, when, especially when I was your guys' age, I would like to put something at the end like, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you want to learn more, you can, and that you can can be Google, use Google, look up videos, or if you're really smart, put a website in there. Tell them where they can go to look for more information about the endangerment of great white sharks. So, it's pretty simple, right? Now, your assignment on Google Forms today is gonna be very similar to the one you had yesterday. I'm gonna use another random topic and you are then going to have to, well, I say another random topic, it's the same random topic that was for the first assignment that you had on intros. You're then going to wrap up that essay. And again, I'm gonna look really intently in the camera here. You are not writing an essay. What you're doing is just practicing writing conclusions. Take your intro from the first day and turn it into a conclusion. Make sure you're using the past tense, because again, it went from, I will be talking to you today, it went from that to, I have talked to you today. And again, you do that because the intro is at the very top of the essay. It's the first thing you're gonna have someone read. But the conclusion, oh man, that goes at the bottom, where everyone, or anyone that's reading it has already read your whole essay, and now they're getting told, hey, I just told you about all this stuff I just told you about. Hope that makes sense. So. This has been day number four of Intro into Essays. Hope you guys are doing great, and I will see you guys in the next video.